Hi. Uh, a few more things just before I go. Um, this is really simple. It's just a poppy head, but it's quite strong and spiky, and it's made a beautiful mould. And this is the mould. And I just thought they make very nice little earrings, or very nice component parts of many other pieces of jewellery. And I'm going to just make quite a few of these. First of all, I'll show you what it looks like. Because <laughs> it's a poppy seed head, but it's just like a little daisy. It's really, really nice. So I shall make a few of those and put them to dry. And I wanted also to do, this is really box candy simple, just get some tissue paper and fold it up into lots of little bits like that and cut them into bits. I always do it this way and just cut the edges off. I'm sure there's a, a more uh, economical way to do it but there. And then what I'm going to do is just stick together lots and lots of bits. The idea is to have them so that they they stick out at the edges and create some kind of flow. This is just um, PVA glue mixed with a little water so it's splodgy. Uh, I like to work on tiles, these are ceramic tiles, so I can just put glue there and on top and then I can just start layering them on top. Splodge a bit of glue down, stick them on, stick it on idea is not to get too much glue on your fingers really. Get some more going. Stick it down. Stick it down. It's, it's a sort of papier mache. There. And I shall make quite a lot of those too. I'll just kind of slice it up and show you if possible. There. So it's just lots and lots of layers of tissue paper laid one on top of the other and then left to dry and it will just peel off because it's PVA. Um, if you want to you can colour the layers, the PVA, or you can paint the tissue paper so I've got sort of a passage of colours going, anything you might like, sort of blues and greens and turquoise or something and then layer them and um, sometimes depending what inks you use some of the ink will run but either way it will add, add a beauty. Um, if you buy bought coloured tissue paper over time it will fade and it won't have any quality to it at all so always best to make your own. And I was going to do something else, what was I going to do? I was going to show you, I can't remember, hold on. Hmm. I think I've just done everything very quickly <laughs> and that's the end of that isn't it? Where is it going to go? I can't remember. Ah, got it. Quite an important thing actually. When you make pendants you don't always want to put a hole in them so you don't always want to doing that. Sometimes you want to have it so that the whole thing is complete and perhaps it has a little snake chain passing through the back and it just hangs so you put it on sort of about three quarters of the way up. Now you can use a little tiny wooden bead or a metal bead but you can also make your own which is quite easy. So what would you need? You'd need probably about that much um, mod rock. I would wet the end of a paintbrush and start to wrap it round like that. And then just get a paintbrush and slowly encourage it to go round like that. And brush the edges. That's uh, so simple, isn't it? 
If you wish, you can take a piece of tissue paper as well and just wrap that round the edge too. Basically, it's just a little tiny bead, but it's just made out of modrock and tissue paper. And when it's dry, I mean, you can make loads and loads of those. They're fantastic and they're so useful because you can use them as links between beads and you can use them to go on the back and hold it in place. So leave those to dry. Um, well, if you've got time, it would be really good if you made, and you've got this, and you've got this stuff, you made some of these. I started to show you how to do it. And I used a paintbrush, but you can use a kebab stick as well. A piece of clay and roll it into a little tube and stick the pointy end all the way through, like that, and then roll it and then squeeze it between your fingers, but keep your fingers a little bit open so you get a sort of knuckle duster effect. You don't have to squeeze quite so hard, I've just done it so that you can see it. Just squeeze it like that. And then take a blade and trim off the end bits, which you probably can use for something else. Whoopsie daisy. And the same thing here. I'm sorry about that pause, it's because I don't have an edit button I'm, and it, make it go in half and then you can squeeze a little bit out like that if you like, the same thing there, bend it over whatever and then later on you can just add a little ridge of colour and a bit of gilding along the edge. Now these are going to be the beads that will make the bangles and the bracelets and tomorrow We'll do these wonderful little Tyvek and iridescent beads that look like pearls. They are really special. Okay, I shall go now. Have a lovely evening. Bye.